Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel here today, and we're back for another recording slash live streaming tutorial here today. And today, my friends, we're going to be teaching you guys how to use Streamlabs OBS, a new desktop application that Streamlabs themselves have added. Basically now integrating Streamlabs with OBS together in an all-in-one experience. So today I'm going to explain to you guys, again, how to add alerts, how to work Streamlabs OBS with the overlays, with the, all the other stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to get all that stuff set up. It's basically very similar to my old Streamlabs video with uh, where we used Streamlabs the, uh, from the website itself and added it into OBS Studio. Um, if you want to check that video, the card will be in the top right as well as in the description down below. Obviously, as well, if you did miss a recording slash live tutorial, you want to check out, I do post a lot. The link will be down below in the description as well as in the card in the top right. And if you guys, before you start, you can leave a like and subscribe if you're new. really appreciate it. Share the video. That would greatly help out the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get straight into this. So Streamlabs OBS just got it in, I think, a couple weeks ago. Obviously, if you want to download it, the website's right here. I'll link it down below in the description. Just go to streamlabs.com slash streamlabs OBS, and you'll find it. Obviously, once you download it, it's going to save the desktop application here on the bottom. So we'll open that up in a minute. But basically, we're going to go through the website right now, explain to you guys some things before we go straight into the application itself. Obviously, there's a little video here uh, where Steel Rain will explain how Streamlabs OBS works. If you want to watch that, definitely go on the website and watch it. But basically, they give you a couple tips here on how it works before you download it. Obviously, set up live in 60 seconds. They got a huge list of overlays, 25% CPU save. They could add face mask uh, and two times better video encoding. And then obviously they compare it and again every a lot of different things compared to OBS and XSplit. So if you want to go through all that, obviously. And then they have a Discord. If you have any questions for them, recommend it. If you ever have a question for Streamlabs OBS, join their Discord here. And uh, you know there's a couple chats that you can actually ask them questions. So highly recommend to do that. So now we've gone everything here through the website. Let's go straight into the application itself. So here we're going to open up the application. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff here. And obviously, every time you open it, it will check for new updates. So this is being updated constantly because remember, this is in beta. So there is a lot that will be updated here. So when we start this open here, guys, we have a lot. We have the live category, basically where we want to go live. The editor category where we can edit some things. We got the library where the overlays are hidden, as well as we got our dashboard where it's got all our Streamlab stuff. And also we have our night and day mode, if we want to change from night to day mode, as well as bug report, Discord, where you want to join the Discord, the settings, and where we want to sign in our account, which I'm obviously signed in right now. So let's start first with the dashboard. The dashboard is basically is as regular as comes as the regular Streamlabs. This basically is Streamlabs.com's dashboard labeled on the website, but basically put into this application where we can access, again, our dashboard where we get all our follows, donations, subscribers, sponsors. I'm on YouTube right now, so this is the YouTube stuff. This is only for YouTube and Twitch right now, Mixer. Will probably eventually be added. Like I said, this is in beta, so there's still a lot of stuff they have to be adding into this. Um, they've got your donations, your sponsors, shared access, who you share access with. Again, I've gone through this on the other Streamlabs video, so I'm going to link that in the card in the top right if you guys want to go watch that again. But basically, I'm not going to go in depth on this stuff because I've already kind of done how to explain how to add alerts and stuff with it. Then they got donations, account settings where you can link certain accounts. Uh, Integrations. You have Razor, Tiddlefy, Extra Life, Patreon, Alert Profiles, your Alert Box, Goals, Streamlabs. But basically, we don't even need to do this anymore. We don't even need to do this because we have Streamlabs OBS. All right, so we don't even need to worry about this dashboard anymore. All right, so that's basically the dashboard. It's basically everything explained in this, my old Streamlabs video, um, which again you can go watch if you want to get more explanations on that. So once we go to the library, the library is what holds all the overlays. Now Streamlabs OBS, I know I've always been looking for overlays. This is where you can find a lot of different kinds of overlays. You can go from animated, static, different kinds of colors. Include screens like live, uh, be right back, offline, and stream starting, uh, first person shooter action. So let's, let's, for, let's, let's do an example here since you guys maybe want to know how to add one. So we'll look... We'll we'll do something one on the top ridge. Let's do the Rainbow Six Siege one. 
All right, so I've decided to pick the Rainbow Six Siege one. It obviously gives the amount of people that have installed it, the category, and the include screens. So we're going to install it. Let's go install it right now. So once you, if you want to install an overlay, you just got to click install overlay. And here it is. It will download the overlay right here for you. And it's going to add it as a fresh scene collection in your editor. So we'll go to the editor here very shortly. But again, this library basically gives you all kinds of overlays and stuff you'd like to see. Um, obviously, all I can really tell you here, just go through it. See which one you think matches your kind of style, whatever games you kind of play. There's just a lot of different things you'll be able to find here. And obviously, there's a lot of categories, colors, and animations. And obviously, you could sort by... Uh, most installed, newly added, or trending, and then you can have a certain name you want to look for. Uh, they'll add it. And they're obviously adding new overlays, uh, I think, pretty much every day, weekly. And they're adding tons. So uh, there's already hundreds of thousands of them. So make sure to go check those out, those overlays. And let's get straight into the editor. So you see, as we add the overlay last, um, so now this is the overlay. It's been completely added. The Siege of the Day. And obviously, you can. Uh, all the overlays you download will show up on the bottom here. So you just click this little tab here, and you could see the overlays on the bottom here. So you could switch between, let's say I want to switch to the minimal blue one. We can just switch and see, bada bing, bada boom, it switches. See, that was the minimal blue one was the one I had set up before. So that's why it popped up there. Obviously, I'm going to delete that one. So if we want to remove that one ourselves, we can just click the remove button. We can also duplicate it and rename it. Obviously, maybe we have like overlay one, overlay two. Maybe this overlay is for action games. This one's for RPGs. This one's for MMOs. Everyone, you might have to be able to get a different overlay for each one, which is actually really cool. And it's only at the simple touch of a button, which is fantastic. So we're gonna do the Siege of the Day one. And like I said again, um, when you start Streamlabs OBS, you can carry over your uh you can carry over your uh, alerts and stuff and all the other scenes you had made from your obs studio which like i said if i wanted to carry all these sources over uh right when you launch up streamlabs obs it'll actually give you an option when you first download it to carry over all your scenes from your original obs so obviously with this we have a lot of now things we can do obviously we have the starting soon see right when we click this we can just switch between scenes uh, so if we want to do the starting soon button, we hit the starting soon, and then boom, that's what you do. And then instantly when you want to start the live stream, just tap that, and there you go. You're straight into the game. Obviously, you're going to have to add, obviously, with the overlay here, you can add, you're going to have to add a face cam, uh, maybe add some alerts, and then obviously you could change your name. So if we want to, again, edit some things here, we can obviously, uh, you know, scroll around here. Obviously, the settings box here will give us... Here's where we basically can set up our um, transitions. Maybe, you know, if we want to fade it, swipe it, slide it, you know. Um, obviously, um, also, here's our sources. Like I said, with our old OBS, if you guys would like to add a source, it's pretty simple. Click the setting here. It'll give you some tips on what you could do here. Obviously, look at this. Remember in the old OBS, you had to right-click, you had to scroll through and find which one. This one is a lot simpler, and it looks like in the Streamlabs, look, alert box basically for your alerts, donation goal for your donation goals, follower goal for your follower goal. Instead of having to go to each individual area and setting up individually, now we can literally just go click a tap of a button to set it up. Subscriber goal, bit goal, donation tickers, chat box, event list, jar, viewer account, bit boss, credits, spin wheel. There is so much stuff here that you could use. Obviously, you can the width, the height, the FPS on it as well. And dude, this is this is it's so easy. It's it's literally, you know, it's it's given to you. Which I am in love with that they would, you know, make it that simple for you. You know, it's very cool. And obviously once you click on saying it'll give you Obviously, like I said again, for each individual scene, it'll give you, you know, settings for it. And obviously, you can set up sources for each individual scene. You got a BRB and a webcam with it, which, like I said, it makes it so easy. And then obviously, once that is all set up, you can set up your uh, mic and desktop audio here, just like in the old OBS, setting up some individual filters. If you want to add filters, as well as uh, properties you want to have some volume uh, set up, add certain, uh, uh, you know, some certain kind of device for your uh, 
desktop audio, you obviously can do that. And obviously lowering the volume down here. Obviously you don't want to, you know, blow everyone's eardrums out. And now let's see, we want to test our widgets. You know, like for example, we could test our subscriber, sponsor. See, there's a subscriber, instantly pops up. Sponsor. We could test our donation alerts. And it's already set up with this overlay. They already set up like this stuff. And then with Twitch, obviously there's going to be more Twitch stuff here. But this is instant. The alerts literally are tested instantly, which is amazing that they would do that. And obviously, enabling our desktop audio will get that set up. If you want to add a scene again? Look at this. Wow. Wow. This gives you a lot. For example, it'll give you image, browser source, image slide delay, display. This basically is gives you your old kind of. Remember on the old OBS where you would click right? And you click add and you click through all this stuff. Basically, that's no more. That's no more. You don't have to do that anymore with Streamlabs OBS. It literally gives you everything here. No need to right click, you know, and add all this stuff in. It's just basically given to you right here. And now once you click on it, it'll give you some, you know, give you an uh, give you an example of what you need to do. For example, for an image, PNG, JPG, JPEG, just add, it's gonna get, it also gives you definition. Add images to your scene. Browser source allows you to add web-based content such as web pages and a slash. Basically, you know, like I said, alerts, image slideshow, display capture, game capture, audio input capture, scene. It gives you an explanation for each of these, which, like I said, makes it so much more simpler than the old OBS. It'll give you an explanation so you know what, exactly what you're doing instead of just saying, do I have to add an image, browser source, image, slideshow, display, game? It'll basically give you what it is. And obviously the widgets, it'll explain there too. The alert box, which is again our alerts, donation subscriptions, follows bits, host. The jar, like I said again, if you want to put the jar up. The follower goal, well again for Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. Donation ticker, which is again for our donation ticker. Our stream boss, viewer count, stream labels, event list, donation goal, subscription, chat, credits, spin wheel. Look how simple this is. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. It's literally I cannot tell you how simple this is and it makes it so much easier for especially new streamers. If you're a new streamer on this platform, I mean it used to be a pain in the butt. I mean I have people coming in from my old video talking about how difficult it is to add alerts. So this makes it so simple. So we're going to give you a we'll give you a little test here. For let's say for example, we want to add a follower goal or let's say yeah we're gonna add a follower goal so we're gonna click add source and we obviously can name the source here and once we click done it'll be bada bing bada boom and we can click done and see here would be our follower goal it gives you like a sample goal and all this stuff you could put it like I said around and again you could do that with alerts as well obviously it gives you a lot more in terms of the dimensions of how to move things around here on the screen. Obviously, you can customize these uh, these um, <clears throat> overlays to your liking if you want to move maybe, you know, for example, certain types of things around to test how things may work. Obviously, that's completely up to you. But there's a lot more flexibility with how things work here. And that's basically the editor. Again, if you want uh, individually how to add alerts, like I said, um, I have that entirely explained in the Streamlabs, but it's really simple. Um, if you have any questions, like leave them down below, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. And make sure, again, keep your eyes on them, because I do respond to a lot of the comments. And then you got the Live tab, which basically gives you a preview of when you go live. You can check uh, how things are working. Obviously, you got everything set. It'll give you all this, uh, your recent events and stuff. Um, also, with your starting soon. Um your be right back live scenes and all that it basically it, it gives you very very simplistic things which I love and obviously again if you want to test it should pop up on the preview it does not pop on the only think it pops up on the live but like I said you can hide the widgets if you want and here's where you click the go live you also can record if you want to record like I said in the old OBS where it had the uh, start streaming and stop recording buttons you could just record here and go live and then again it'll give you drop frames frames per second CPU 
And you also click some info here if you have notifications that may pop up while you go. But basically, that is it for Streamlabs OBS on everything on the left here. Obviously, there's some more here if you want to pause. You alerts, play some sounds. It, again, you have the entire access to the alert page here. And basically, that is all. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below in the comments. We'll quickly go through all the other stuff here on the top right. But like I said, again, that's a lot of stuff, and it's really really i think simple to use once you get the hang of it and you can put so much more customization into it without a doubt obviously you could put up certain things here uh obviously if you want to report bugs click this and they got an entire page where you can uh you know uh make a new account and uh set up some bugs or set up some maybe bugs that you run into and ask them questions you can uh, join their discord page by clicking the link here I'm obviously already in their discord page we'll just click it for the the heck of it um, so I will show you I am in their discord so let me show you if you want to join their discord specifically here's their discord they have FAQs guides support so basically if you have questions and you don't think I can answer them to my best of my ability here's a good place to go to without a doubt Going here will definitely give you some more uh, answers and stuff. And they obviously report on a lot of things that happen. They have some chats where they talk to some people. Um, then they also have the settings where you can customize basically your OBS settings here. Like I said, with the old OBS. Create a stream title, show live doc. Uh, you can show confirmation when you go live and all that. All my record one streaming, all this other stuff. Basically, it's like the old OBS with the settings where you access everything. You set up your streams, your output settings, your audio, video, hotkeys, advanced, overlays, and notifications. And then this is, again, where you sign into your account. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Streamlabs OBS. If you guys did enjoy this video... Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you also do have questions, please make sure to leave them down below in the comments section. And I will be trying to get to as many as I can. But, guys, thank you so much again. If you have any specific questions, please leave them down below. I do appreciate it. We can go for 100 likes on this video. It would be greatly appreciated. And I will haul you all in the next video. And, you guys, again, we might be doing more update videos in terms of this because, like I said, this is in beta and there's a lot more that they need to do. So, thank you all again for watching. And I'll haul you in the next video. Peace.